Welcome viewers, in this episode today I will be giving you latest information regarding the egg biggest and the mightiest express entry draw done ever ever since the inception of express entry draw and also I will be giving you information on the provincial nominee and also do you know that Canada Canada government they are actually thinking about creating another part through which people can use to migrate into Canada and also for those that want to come into Canada through the caregiver uh, part I have an information regarding that so, so you want to hang on tight stay tuned today's episode is loaded as usual hello viewers here welcome to my youtube channel i still remember my humble self mc bernardino this is canada reality with your boy where i dish out content for those that are in canada and those that are intending on migrating to canada if you are adventure this is your first time you just stumbled on this channel please 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 stay some few moments subscribe to this youtube channel there's a notification bell click on it so that anytime i drop a video you'll be among the first to get it and also i want to use this opportunity to welcome our new subscribers and new viewers thank you very much for staying tuned God bless you. All right, let's get into the tick of thing. Okay, I'll be starting on a very, very good note. The latest draw that was done on November 18, that marked the 167 Express entry draw, and that was the biggest ever draw done so far in the history of Express entry so far. And it was an all encompassing draw, meaning that it was for federal skilled workers, Canadian experience, and federal skilled trade. It was the biggest in terms of the number because 5,000 ITA were sent out for people to apply. I mean, it's it's, it's not far-fetched because, don't forget it, some few weeks ago I told you about that Canada is planning on wrapping up the number of people that will be welcome next year. 401,000 are going to be welcome next year. So that is the reason why they decided to ramp it up by inviting 5,000 applicants. And what was the CRS score? The CRS score for those that were invited was 472. You might know, you might want to say it's still on the high side. Yes, I know it's still on the high side but 5,000 people were invited. So meaning that 5,000 people were deducted for those that are, from those that are in the pool. And that means that for those of you that are still left in the pool, if they continue to go by the 5,000 or they go, they go further to increase the number of people drawn, you might be lucky. So what that simply connotes is that if you haven't created your express entry profile, you might want to do that now because you don't want to be left out so that when they actually do another draw again, probably in a week or two weeks time, you want to make sure that you are among those that are chosen so please please take some few moments go online create your express entry profile if you don't know how to do that i've done some videos in the past about that and also you might also want to visit ircc.ca.gc.ca where you can actually learn how to create your profile if you have question anything about that you don't understand drop it in the comment section i will do justice to your question but before I move to the next one, let's just look at the pool right now to see the number of people that are in the pool so that you can better understand how many people are in the pool, what their score is, and it will give you an idea of what's obtainable. So looking at the pool right now, you will discover that, I mean, the number of, the highest number of people within the range of 351 to 400 are the highest in the pool, almost going to 50,000, and followed by 301 to 350 in the pool. I mean, so let me take you to the recent draw that was done on November 18th, all program that was drawn at 472, and you will see that uh, from 3,668 people up until 348 were those that were chosen. So that simply means that there are still like uh, 11,000 plus applicants in the pool that are in the range of 461 to 470. So that is still, there are still a lot of people. So that means that if they eventually draw it, do a draw of 460, I mean, there are like 11,000 people. We are not talking about new people that will be also be applying uh, from the day they did the last draw, which was on November 18th. So that gives you a kind of idea of what the, what the pool is like. But still, don't feel discouraged. Create your profile if you have to. And who knows, you might be among the lucky ones when they do the next draw. All right, so let's look at... Uh, Provincial nominee. Okay, so on November 17th, British Columbia invited 76 candidates to apply for the provincial nomination through four streams of the BC provincial nominee program. This was a tech pilot draw. Yes, I make bold to tell you that BC is one of the few provinces in Ontario that has a stream that is specially designed for those that are in the uh, tech um, sec stream, tech sector. So if you feel you have experience in the IT industry and you you got some years of experience and you've got some certificates to back that up with qualification you might want to look at their provincial nominee congratulations to those that are invited moving forward on november 16 ontario reached the intake limit for the employer job offer 
in-demand skills train for 2020. No additional registration will be accepted until further notice. So that is capped for that particular stream. That is capped for the year of 2020. Mm -hmm. For those that want to apply, you might be looking at next year because that is capped. So next year will be a good time. So I'm not saying that Ontario is not inviting anybody for a provincial nominee, but for that particular stream, it is capped for this year and it is done. All right, the next news that I post to you today is that Canada is still accepting the application for the own support workers application. So that's the part that was created for people to come into Canada. If you have experience as an own support worker, I mean, you have experience from wherever you are outside Canada, and you can back that up with a credential to prove that you, Canada is accepting application. Over 2,700 application has been accepted so far, and it's still open up until January 2021. So wherever you are outside Canada, if you have that experience as a home um, care support worker i mean you have that experience i can back that up that you have years of experience i want to tell you that you might want to visit um canada cic.gc.ca and you can see i'll be linking the video description i'll be linking it i'll put in the link in the video description where you can actually apply as a home support worker with experience mm -hmm. and that might be a very good path for we for you to migrate into canada i've seen a lot of people migrate through this um, stream i know the filipinos they, they come into canada through this particular stream so it's not for them alone if you have any country that you are from if you have experience as a um, support worker own support worker you might want to look at this and you might want to submit your application as fast as possible because it will be closing in january so you might want to do that before the end of the year all right the next exciting news that i've got for you today is that Canada, um, Canada Immigration Minister Mandesino, uh, he was uh, attending to the press uh, some few days back, and he said that he gave an hint that Canada uh, government will be creating more streams for which people can use to migrate into Canada. He didn't actually disclose in full what stream, what qualification, what requirement, but he said coming in the coming months, Canada government might create some more parts. For people to migrate into Canada so that simply connotes that they are trying to bring in more people don't forget that they're ramping up number of people that will be coming in in the next three years is going to be 1.2 million so to for them to meet that goal they need to create more paths for people to migrate into Canada so how can you get yourself ready one of the few ways you can get yourself ready is that try as much as possible to equip yourself in terms of work experience whatever field you have try as much as possible to get more educational qualification anything that you can use to boost yourself up try as much as possible to do that because you don't want to be caught unaware when there some parts are actually created you then you want to start um, reinforcing yourself so do anything you can if you're in the express entry pool try as much as possible to ramp up your score if you want to apply for the provincial nominee do something about that and also if you want to come into canada through study that's a very good part because if you eventually come into canada through study that is a leverage you have actually attained like 70 percent of your attainment of permanent residence or citizenship in canada so if you want to come into canada through study you might want to intensify effort towards that apply for the school admission then go for that to get all the documents together and apply for your visa because if you eventually come in as a student i can tell you of a truth that that is a very big plus for you your path to citizenship is on course so i just want to give you that and the moment we get more information about what particular immigration path will be created i will be the first to let you know on this channel okay just before i go have you seen my last video on proof of fund falsification and the uh impact of falsifying your proof of fund it can attract a ban of five years if you haven't seen that video so you might want to check the video description the link in the video description i put it there you might want to learn from that i told you more so many things about proof of fund how you can go about it and if you falsify it what can actually happen to you and i also give two case studies so i don't want to talk too much about that visit my uh, playlist you will see the video watch it and you will enjoy it all right at this point i want to use this opportunity to implore some of you that come on this channel you haven't subscribed please take some few moments subscribe to this youtube channel if you enjoy this video i mean please hit on the likes button share this video on your social media handle your facebook your instagram your twitter if you have any question any comment anything you're not clear about based on what i've said what i've said in the past or you want me to discuss a particular topic feel free to drop it in the comment section and i will do justice to your question so i come back on this platform next week with an with the latest update on Canada immigration, latest news, please stay safe, stay out of trouble, and don't forget.
to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.